my name's Ash and I'm from Shifty Perspective. Thanks for checking out my channel. I'm here in Medellin, Colombia getting stem cell treatment and I thought I would make a little vlog to document this. Over the next few days I'll be recording all of my adventures and giving an insight into what actually happens to get cured, hopefully uh, using stem cells. So thanks for checking it out. Uh, see you soon. Welcome to my crib. First room is the bathroom. There are no shits in the toilet. I made sure I flushed that before we did the video. This hotel is really nice. There is a super comfortable bed in the bedroom. Well, let's up. Come and show you a next quick view of the city. This is the most important part, really. The view of Medellin. Medellin is up in the mountains. We're looking down on the rest of the city right now. I'm on the sixth floor. It is beautiful. It's a very foggy day today. I think it's probably foggy quite a lot here, but yeah, it's very cloudy. So the view isn't as good um, as it could be. However, it's just important to notice the change in Medellin. Medellin, as most people know, was the home of Pablo Escobar. And during the 80s and 90s, it was a very turbulent times. Um, yeah, a very dangerous place to be. They have completely revamped the city and it's, it's, it's great. I mean, I can't wait to see the rest of it. Uh, I arrived last night. And next, actually, I'm gonna go check out the rooftop pool. So I will see you guys up there. Where I am. This is the rooftop pool of Medellin. See Sydney is down there. My girlfriend, just going for a little swim. I'm just here at the um, MRI clinic with a bunch of lovely nurses who are about to give me an MRI scan on my um, knees and on my hips. So I've already had the uh, test today for the, um, the intravenous drip and the consultation. My ears are really sticking out with this mask, I can see. Um, and then once I've got the MRI, I will start with the um, stem cell treatment tomorrow. As you can see, this is the place. These are the nurses. Pretty cool. Uh, everything's chilled. The driver drove me here. Friendly guy. Everyone so far has been really, really friendly. So I thought I'd just uh, show off a little bit here of the uh, cool clothing that I have to put on. The scrubs. Pink. Bright pink scrubs. If you check this out, they look pretty damn good. Ooh. Ooh, la, la, la. Didn't realize that I. Uh, had to put these on and take this off in private. So I just started to undress out there and the nurse is quickly, quickly telling me, no, 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 put your clothes back on. Put them back on. So here I am, my nice scrubs, ready for my MRI. Now oh, we're uh, just leaving the MRI. Muchas gracias. Now <laughs> we're gonna head back. Got the MRIs here. Yeah. Two, and uh, I'm just randomly waiting at the- hey, Oh, what's this? <laughs> what oh. a Hey, it's good to see you. <laughs> We're about to go on a tour of uh, Medellin, of uh, see all the graffiti in Colon, Colon 13, I think. Colon 13, see. Sí. Sí. Um, we have Carlo. Oh, what? We got Sydney. And uh, we're about to go meet Carlo, our driver. He's going to take us on a, take us on a tour of the city. So, <laughs> let's do this. Estamos en Comuna 13. We are now in Comuna 13. The commune, community oh, number 13. We're about to do a tour here. We've just been explained that this history is pretty, pretty turbulent here. Even until recently, there were uh, the guerrilla fighters were living and hiding out in here, and they had um, the right-wing paramilitaries were sent in by the government to kill them. There's a lot of innocent people murdered on the streets. It's a very, very brutal history. We're in uh, Camino, I think it's, it's a really, really trippy in here. This is uh, in the in the Camino. There's graffiti everywhere. Yeah. Got some funky glasses. <laughs> and yeah, we're just checking this out. Honestly, it looks crazy. I don't know how this is gonna pick up on the camera. Oh, <laughs> 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 
I'm here high up at uh, Communion Terese. It's a really, really um, emotional roller coaster. We got this graffiti behind, and uh, as you can see, the uh, hand represents the um, soldiers with the politician sleeve underneath because the uh, politicians use the soldiers to get their hands dirty. And uh, the dice are thrown because they're playing, they're playing dice with the, with the people who live here's lives. Um, they came in and they're still to this day. Um, the operation was three days, and in three days, hundreds of civilians were killed in the battles, and there were so many people that uh, disappeared, mass graves. Um, it's absolutely brutal. Kill. But that was the only choice for the people. So that graffiti, this graffiti, but is in honor. We're coming to the end of the uh, graffiti tour at the moment, and right now. Just behind me, you can see this is the mass grave from the Communo uh, Treze attack. Um, yeah, still today up there. There's no roads. Uh, everything that we're on is just motorbike access, uh, which is kind of pretty handy for if you know you don't want the cops to to be able to come down to you because it means they've got to come on feet or on motorbikes, and the roads can easily be blocked off. And then there's places where there's just stairs up. Um, Everywhere, everywhere has graffiti. It is absolutely fantastic. I have just arrived at the bioaccelerator clinic to go into the hyperbaric chamber where I will be breathing pure oxygen for 45 minutes, I believe. And then I'm going to be having my first intravenous stem cell drip. I'm about to go spend uh, some time in here. Do I feel squeamish? <laughs> So the first thing that's going in is the uh, IV of the vitamins and then the stem cells will follow shortly after. How long is it for like, same as the other day, like five minutes? Yeah. The, okay, for the IV. Take a breath, one, two, three. That one be a little bit bigger than the other one. No. No, same? It was bigger the other one, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. A bunch of energy. So yeah, these are my stem cells in this bag. <laughs> 120, no, 120 million of them. Wow. About to go inside of me. <laughs> stem cells are going in. <laughs> Yay. This is it. This is the beginning of the, hopefully the end of pain and being in some freedom of movement. Hey everyone, just uh, finished my first stem cell treatment, 250 million stem cells intravenously, but intravenously. fuck yeah. At the bouldering gym, my main man Kong, just learning how to boulder, first time. Obviously the uh, bouldering uh, screen, <laughs> yep. Just learning from the best. So this is really cool, like it's a different system that we're used to um, with the colors. Um, uh, this is similar to where I boulded in uh, Panama. Um, this is another really cool gym. Um, basically, instead of having the uh, color of the blocks um, in front of the roof, you have the tape color. So you start off, for example, here, and then you follow it around wherever it is until the end, which is where it tops out. So for example, if you follow the gray, it would top out over here. Yeah, so I'm gonna do some roots and hopefully get a few things on film. Yep, yep. <laughs> Make sure you get the... Uh... Yeah.